What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros. And today, folks, just sick freaking looking bat right here. We have the 2023 Warstick Bone Saber BB Core. Let's get it. All right, folks, a closer look at, you know, kind of the cleanest looking bat in the game, if we're being honest. Uh, they have claimed this is an updated Bone Saber and we have probably the most different Bone Saber they've come out with as far as tech. So you still have, you know, that same one piece alloy gonna be relatively light swinging design. And then what makes the Bone Saber unique folks is that no knob flared Bone Saber handle right there, or there actually isn't a knob, but it just flares into a completely smooth taper. They said they lightened the swing weight even more on this by switching it out to a composite end cap here. So this should be uh, almost kind of towards that Voodoo One Cat X swing weight territory. And they also elongated the barrel profile so this actually has a pretty beefy looking barrel now. Uh, let's see what this thing's got today. We're, we're, we're not messing around. So we've got the two uh, at the top of the list right here, folks. We have the Louisville Slugger Atlas and the Marucci Cat X, our number one and two ranked BB cores right now. The only two bats in the game, guys, where I literally can't find anything to complain about on these two bats. So uh, tough matchup for the Bone Saber, but... Uh, we're gonna see what it's got today, folks. Let's get it. And we're out here today at the University of Portland. So big dimensions here, 370 to the gaps, 390 to center. Got a little wind and rain going on, a little cold weather day. This is kind of what we're used to, so let's go. The world premiere of the 2023 Warstick Bone Saber. Get the old cracking on there. Got a little drizzle, cold weather. Let's see if this sweet spot's good, folks. Oh, dude, that... Sounded Bro, it's got some like whip to it. It has like a little bit of flex. Oh, dude, Levi! that's for sure. Oh my God. That's like literally swings three and four on the day. What was that? 99.5. Okay. That was peace. Oh, dude, I, I am cautiously very optimistic about this bat, dude. The handle is a cheat code. I love it. Biggest issue I've had with this bat was a small, unforgiving barrel. And it, it feels literally more flexible than it ever has. Dude, that kind of rings your hands a little bit. It is whippy, though. Oh, dude. It's definitely lighter than it used to be as well. This is like... Frickin' Cat X, Missile 2, Vandal, Voodoo 1, Toothpick Swing Weight. Does that hand a little bit? Yeah. And does, that, does that light you up a little bit? A little bit, yeah. It's like stinging my top hand. That's off the hands a bit. Dude, this is a good freaking bat, dude. That's kind of wild. That's moving. Hands? I got in there, bro. Yeah. Still See, got it too. It That's rings still... you up, but it's still hot. Yeah. It's it's so easy to control the barrel, man. Uh, the weighting honestly feels a bit like the Cat X, dude. I'm serious. Oh, oh that was hot too. See, that's like perfect, perfect though. Yeah, you that can feels hear it. good. I'm hitting lasers with this thing, bro. Smash, bro. Smash. Your bad speed with that is insane. That's crazy. Yeah. Dude, it's it's a freaking so easy to swing. 1054. That's oh, cheese, bro. 1054. Crazy. Oh, oh, dude. I think you just went freaking Leave. center field. Oh, oh, no juice. No juice. Popping out at 105 with the Bone Saber here. Bringing out the big guns, folks. We're going to see how it hangs against the Atlas. Oh, dude, that's just got more barrel on it, bro. Oh, the Atlas. You're bad, dude. This is a bad man right here. Oh, very into that. This has a little more weight to it. No way. Different. Oh, that was Different. a terrible hit. This just has a lot more barrel. That swings a lot like the Cat X, the yeah. Bone Saber does. When I'm barreling it perfect, I feel like I have better bat speed and higher velos. And the ball's coming off hotter with the Bone Saber. Like that's a better ceiling for me, but I just hit the ball better, more consistently with this. Ball smashed, top spin. That's crazy, that's crazy. 
That's like my best hit ball. What was my top with that one? Uh, six, three. All right, Zach, so you're going to uh, go a little Cat X action. A little Cat here. X. See what you think. Because the weighting is shockingly similar. It's really that. similar, yeah. Yow. Oh. You get a good barrel on that? Yeah. Oh, my God. Dude. Yo. Yes. I mean. You swing that thing, I just swing. I don't know why. I just like. Right. Like honestly, super, super comparable to Bone Saber. So you think those are very similar bats? I think these are really similar. There feels like there's more weight here. Yeah. The Cat X is a little bit more balanced. Yep. Do you feel like one has a, like a bigger barrel, bigger sweet spot? This Cat X for sure has better feedback. Okay. I get balls on my hands that lights are really like, it lights me up. That's what the Bone Saber has been known to do. It's especially down here. Yep. It's not nice to you. Yes. So uh, pop. This is hot, dude. Dude, like this might have. Oh, it. I think this has for, it. for pop it really on does. perfect, perfect. That might legit it's, be yeah, for sure, for Bigger sure. Height. Bone saber, one more shot. Yeah, like I, that, I think I got it actually. Yeah, that's smashed. Tough matchup. Is that, that top five bat? That rung up my hands a lot. Is that top five bat? Right now, if you're asking me this or Voodoo One, considering the Voodoo One has durability issues, this is close enough to where I'd, I'd pick the Bone Saber over the Voodoo One right What's now. The price point. 350, so not okay. bad. And bro, like, if that came out last year, oh. before the Cat X and the Atlas, oh. this would have been like, this would have been the bat. Hype. Yes. Yeah. Damn. Oh. Zach, game tomorrow. You got to pick. University of Portland, new bat contract. Yep. Marucci or Warstick. <laughs> Marucci. Got, got going with Marucci. Marucci. But again, this bat, this bat's probably hotter for sure. If it was released, I, I'm saying last year, that this would have blown up, like as, as far as, yeah. you know, like BB core rankings. But it's just, these two got it, bro. It's, yeah, a little bit stiffer, great swing weight. Yep. You know, better forgiveness, just especially the toward the barrel's end. just big. Dude, the barrel's there. The barrel's huge on this. This is as lighter, even. This yeah. is lighter and a little more forgiveness still. Yeah. That is crazy hot. I think today this was. <laughs> One of, I had the best numbers with this 105 guy. 105.8? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks, on the hit tracks now, this is uh, this is the Bone Saber's home court, so to speak. This is what the Bone Saber is very good at. I fully expect it to light up the exit velo here. We're going to see how it compares to the Cat X. With these uh, Cham Pro baseballs we're using, the highest I've got on this is right around 103, 104. Smash that ball. Caught that towards the hands a little bit. 97.1. Oh, yeah. 103.8, dude. That's one of the highest I've gotten in a minute. 100.4. Oh, 410. Those balls towards the hands like feel really great, but you can definitely see the drop off in exit velo. So let's see what we got with the Bone Saber, folks. 103.8 is a lot higher than I expected with that. Yep. All right, that was honestly towards the hands a little bit. 102.8. Towards the end a little bit for 99.8. That hits lower exit below, but feels good. This hits higher exit below, but stings. 104.8. Dude, I swear that wasn't even perfect perfect. I've had a lot of people tell me the Cat X deserves to be a 10 on the power scale. That's a 10 on the power scale, guys. That's suspiciously higher than anything I've hit in the last month. Take that with a grain of salt. We're going to do one more with each bat. with exceptions obviously small sweet spot rings you up that's gonna hurt its overall bat or scale score but 
Voodoo one hop, bro. That's 104. All right, so just to show you guys here, we're using all the same baseballs. I've used these for most of my recent exit velo tests. And with these Champro Kevlar seam pitching machine baseballs, uh, that's the highest velos I've ever had. Um, that is a 10 on the bat bro scale. That is one of the hottest bats I've ever swung in my life. And like, if we put together the bat bro scale, obviously like sweet spot's gonna bring it down. I think the Cat X is a tad lighter, honestly. This is probably a seven swing weight, an easy 10 power and a five sweet spot. So while this is as hot as the Voodoo One, could be hotter, but I mean, really similar to the Voodoo One, it just straight up beat the Cat X and Exit Velo testing. That's very difficult to do. There's other factors to consider. If you want a more forgiving barrel, I definitely consider these two bats, but uh, if you're coming from like the Voodoo One, for example, or the Stinger Missile Two, or last year's Bone Saber, and you like that smaller sweet spot, but if you get it, that ball is going forever, uh, this is, going to be the best bat of the year considering the voodoo one is having those knob durability issues but this is probably going to be a top 10 bat folks kind of overshadowed by those on field but uh once we got it on the exit velo that thing was crazy bro so overall in the world of balanced bb core bats if you're asking uh zach and myself what our go-to's are zach's still going with the cat x i'm still going with the atlas we just prefer to have a little more sweet spot a little more barrel that's kind of our priority our approach if exit velo is your priority you know bp god kind of showcase guy this is the bat guys very similar a good substitute to the stinger missile 2 or the Voodoo One, uh, we're gonna put it at the number eight overall rank right now. That's one of the most, if not the most impressive exit velo performance I've seen from a BB core bat, guys. A big upgrade from last year's Bone Saber, more flexible, lighter swinging, seemingly hotter. That handle's amazing. I honestly felt like uh, the Bone Saber from last year, guys, was kind of a mid barrel, honestly on a really good handle and this has a good barrel on it. So you can check out all of our rankings, our Bat Bros scales and our merch over at baseballbatbros.com. If you guys like this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. Peace out.